Lord Jesus. Oh, we review them. Oh, we have a few of them. Um, Coach's pet. Do you know what Megan Connolly can do it sometimes? Um, but unintentionally, Megan is just a very she's just a really kind person that sometimes it can come across as if she's um kissing up, but she's not. Um, Courtney Brosnan's also doing a little bit of it at the minute, but she'll never admit to it as well. I don't actually. Well, Katie McCabe calls me Hidley, but it's not really a nickname. It's just, I think it's like a culty thing. She tries to wind me up a but it sticks. All fairness, she addresses it, dresses me every campus Hidley. So that's probably the only <laughs> one I have. My favourite player growing up was Roy Keane. Yeah, Heather Payne's is window. <laughs> yeah. And it's explanation. <laughs> window pane. Oh yeah. Sorry. I was fa- it was the Fahi. The Fahi gave her that nickname a couple of years ago. And I I know, it, was just, it was one of those that has just stuck so, so well. Um and another one that I quite like is um Katie calls me Fahi Niji. And it's also a good one. I think it suits me very well as well. Um, the most used app on my phone um, is probably Twitter. I love Twitter. I love to read on Twitter. Probably need to not read as much on Twitter and read books, but I'd say Twitter's the, the most used one. Oh. I actually just finished season six of Peaky Blinders, and I think that was probably the one I was binge watching a little bit. But I always have the office, the US office always is on. Whenever I come in from training, it's me and my housemate, we just throw it on every day because it always cheers us up. Ooh, that's a very, very good question. Um, do you know what? I I suppose there's been a lot of players through um, international that I've played. And I suppose being in Germany, I get, I've played this player more than once. But I'd say Marina Hegering, um, she's a centre-back for the German national team. And I just, I think she's such a such a good player so difficult to play against and um in terms of my personal opponent she was you know somebody who I really really struggled to to get past and um just years of experience that you know completely invaluable but I would I would say Marina Hegering <laughs> biggest prankster I would say is Ni Fahey she's there's always doing something stupid and her favourite thing is when she's making tea, she takes the hot teaspoon and she puts it on the back of your elbow when you're not looking. And oh, she's Heather Payne's her biggest target always because she gets a wee yelp out of Heather, but I'd say Fahey's the biggest prankster. Well, Katie and Russia or Katie and Denise are doing their best to do it now. Um Russia's not too far behind, but in terms of influencer, influencer, I could see Leanne Kiernan probably being being somebody who would be in a type of influencer. Oh, that's a good question. T- to be really, really honest with you, I've roomed with most of them. Um, I was kind of the one that for a few years was kind of thrown in with everybody because Donegal people were extremely easy to get on with. So that was like that sort of that that sort of that, but. The last couple of times I've roomed with Claire Reardon. Um, usually me and Claire are always kind of stuck together, but if not Claire or Reardon, I'd probably would say Claire Walsh. We always kind of between us, we're always good. Um, but I did have Aoife Mannion last camp, and me and Aoife got on great as well. So, um, I'm not too I'm not too fussy with roommates. Um, I would say. I don't think I'm too far behind, but I would say probably Heather or Leanne would probably be the fastest. I'd say it would be a very, very good race between them. Um, there's actually a couple of girls that would be very, very quick. It would be hard to know who'd win the 100 metres now. It would be a good race to have. <laughs>